Okay, today I'm going to be answering a question that may seem like it has a simple answer, but it's actually a little more confusing than you think. So the question is, if I have a container on a scale, and I have a weight in this container at the top, and then the weight drops off the top, while it's falling, does the weight on the scale increase, decrease, or stay the same? So today I'm going to be doing an experiment that answers that question. So while this metal cube drops in a closed container, will the weight increase, decrease, or stay the same? And also this parachuting guy in this bigger cylinder over here, when he's falling through the air, will the weight on the scale increase, decrease, or stay the same? So if you have some guesses about what you think will happen, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section with what you think will happen with the metal cube and the parachuting guy. And then after I do the experiments and we see what happens, I'll talk about why it's happening. Okay, first let's see how much our metal block weighs. Okay, it weighs around 30 grams. Okay, so now I'm gonna stick my metal cube on the tape here. First experiment, metal cube dropping in a cylinder. Three, two, one. So it seems pretty intuitive that when this is dropping, it doesn't register the weight on the scale. But what about when we drop something that has a lot more air resistance, like this parachute guy? So I'm going to use a bigger cylinder and a bigger scale, and I'll do the same experiment that I just did here. Let's see what happens. Okay, first let's see how much our parachute guy weighs. So it weighs around seven grams. So let's see if when we drop the parachute guy in the larger cylinder, that the weight decreases by seven grams. Okay, I'm gonna do the exact same thing here. I'll stick the parachute guy to my lid here with this duct tape and wait for it to fall off. Okay, let's see what happens here. Okay, so you just saw that when the parachute guy dropped, the weight did not decrease on the scale. And if you don't believe that experiment, I'll do a slightly different one where I don't have a top on it and I zero the scale and I drop the parachute guy in and watch the weight increase before he hits the ground. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same experiment with water and a guy. So the water has a lot more drag than air, so it'll be a lot clearer to see what's actually happening. So first, let's weigh our guy on the scale. He weighs around three grams. So let's see if when I drop him in here, the weight on the scale increases by three grams before he actually hits the bottom. Okay, here we go, three, two, one. Three grams already, look at that. So he's free falling in there, but before he's even hitting the bottom, it's registering the weight on the scale. Okay, so now for the answer of why this is happening. So what's the difference between parachute guy and chunk of metal? The obvious answer is air resistance. So when something falls, it starts to fall with a constant acceleration. But as it falls, the acceleration actually decreases until it becomes zero, meaning that the velocity becomes constant. And that's because as the object falls, it's hitting more and more air and the air is pushing up on it as an opposing force. And so it stops it from accelerating more. And so the object eventually starts falling at just a constant velocity. It's not accelerating anymore, it's just moving at a constant speed. And that speed is called its terminal velocity. So when something reaches its terminal velocity, that means that it's not accelerating anymore. And when something is not accelerating, that means that the forces are balanced on it. So for an object to not be accelerating, the downward force is the same as the upward force on it. And so what does that have to do with our experiment here? Well, for the cube, when it first starts falling, it never reaches terminal velocity. 
and so it never experiences a significant upward force from the air in the cylinder. But for our parachute guy, he almost instantly reaches terminal velocity, and so he instantly has the force of the air pushing up on him, and so that force of the air gets transferred to the scale below him. And so what this means is that when something falls at its terminal velocity, meaning it's not accelerating anymore, it's just moving at a constant velocity, then it will register weight on a scale. And so what that means is if a, if a parachuter jumped out of a plane over a giant scale that was able to capture all of the air below him, before he even hits the ground, the scale would register his weight. So if you like this problem, you'll love Brilliant.org. So at Brilliant.org, you get to challenge your mind through guided problem-solving courses based on math, science, and engineering. So their interactive problems and puzzles help you explore all kinds of thought experiments in physics, math, and science, and engineering. If you like this experiment and you like my channel, you'll love Brilliant. It's a lot of fun. I put the link in my description for Brilliant. You can go there and check it out and sign up for free. And remember to support the Action Lab and learn more about Brilliant. Go to brilliant.org slash the Action Lab. The first 200 people that click the link in my description below will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go check it out. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did enjoy and you're not subscribed to the Action Lab, consider subscribing now. I've almost hit half a million subscribers. That's my next goal. So help me get to half a million subscribers. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.